when we design an irrigation system, we're trying to replicate an even precipitation. So matched precipitation is something that you'll hear talked about, the MP rotator, that's what the MP stands for. The idea is that any small cup left on any part of any surface being watered under sprinklers will all get the same amount of water. So that you can, you're delivering the correct amount of water to the lawn and then it's growing evenly and everything's good and you're not wasting water. So you're not flooding it to try and get it all wet. And you, so you obviously, and that's really the key reason around doing the audits is to go, I think, say a new system might have 80 or 90% distribution uniformity. So of all those cups, this is a really layman's way of explaining it, but they're within, like 90% of them are within the same range. When you get down to 40 and 50%, you might get 20 mil here and eight mil there. And then you've got like, people in your positions over watering to try and get over 20 mil everywhere. But then you've got 40 mil over here because otherwise the turf won't grow. So um, everything we sell uh, when designed properly has matched precipitation. So you have a look here, we've got drip tube. The idea would be that we'd spread the drippers out in a way that they deliver that they've got like even patterns. So when you design irrigation with a with a dripper, so you could have them 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 apart, they blend under the ground or, it, or the water goes into the ground and it becomes one. So you can water a garden like that and the whole area gets wet. Now, when you do, I think 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 1.6, which is Netafim, which is probably all you'd really be seeing. Do, do you have a brand of tube that you're using from memory? <laughs> Netafim's really smooth. There's no lumps on the pipe. Um, the lumpy one's Toro. So there's two litre and 1.6 anyway. That there will deliver about 17 mil an hour of equivalent rainfall. Not all soil types can take that, right? So we try to design a lot of, like your I-20s might be doing eight to 11, I'd have to check if they're designed properly. So that's important to take into consideration when you're scheduling your water because you know that your turf area needs 25 mil of rain for it to grow well in 30 degree temperatures. You've got eight mil an hour coming out of these sprinklers. So we need at least three hours of watering through that week to get that equivalent rainfall. If you're going too high on your delivery of water, your soil type, your soil can't take it. So it's just gonna sit on the top of the surface or it's gonna, if it's on a slope, it's just gonna disappear. So. Knowing what, it's, I'm, I try to put it into kind of a, a paragraph, but ultimately with irrigation, we're trying to deliver the right amount of water to whatever you're trying to grow without overwatering it and delivering it in a, in a time frame that the soil is capable of taking it so that you're not wasting water.